What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. I uh, haven't made a video on this channel for a while. I'm going through an evolution of what I want this channel to be going forward. So I decided to do probably the most self-indulgent video I've ever done. But let's do a tier list of my own short films, most of which you probably have not seen. So I don't know why you would get any entertainment value out of this video. I don't know if it's going to be fun or entertaining. We'll just have to see. Also, I'm not going to use every my music video. I'm not doing like commercials. I'm not doing like client work that I've done. Why is two minutes and 51 seconds of light wind and heavy breathing on here? Yet something like my music videos are not on here. I don't know. I'm gonna try and go in order from when these films were released and when I made them. First short film is House on 24. That goes in F. House on 24 is the first short film I ever did. If you want, you can go here or here or wherever to click on the video I did about actually finishing this film 11 years after I started it. It sucks and I made it when I was in high school and most of these films that I'm about to talk about are my high school films. So let's get into those again. Going up next is Colors. Colors is very interesting to me because Colors is like the first short film that I ever released and obviously it's a high school short film. It's dated. It's not great but it has a lot of like attachment to me because it was the first time my film was accepted into a festival. It was the first time I experimented with After Effects and Premiere and all that stuff so it's 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 kind of a uh, you know, sentimental short film to me. So I'm gonna put Colors at a C. Sorry, which is Dead Island inspired, is a story that I thought about telling it in reverse. It's pronounced sorry, not sorry. I like sorry, but again, there are some things that are really dated about it. Some things that I just, just don't work very well. I like some of the cinematography, but some, some of it is not good. I'm gonna put it at a B because I think it's okay, but I don't think it's that great. I'm trying to just look at my films objectively and try not to A, praise myself too much and B, uh, put myself down too much because I think as a filmmaker, it's easy to be in one of those camps, but I'm not, I feel like I'm not in either of that. I don't know if I am, maybe I am and I just don't know it. I feel like I'm pretty objective when it comes to my work. So, all right, so Colors 2, the sequel to Colors. I'm gonna give that a B. I think it's okay, eh, like it's good. Some of the effects are like outdated. Some of the cinematography is outdated, but some of the effects I think are still pretty good. This is before Roto Brush was really good. So I had to do all this hand animated keyframes like frame by frame. So I'm gonna give it a B because I think it's okay. It is written part one, Hope, is definitely a D. This would have been an F if you just asked me about it on the street, but I recently rewatched it and it was my first foray into sort of experimental storytelling. That was actually a college short film that I planned to do a part two and three. I planned to do a trilogy called It Is Written, part one, two, and three, Hope, Love, and Faith. I never got to do Love and Faith, uh, but Hope kind of sucks. I'm gonna be honest with you. I really don't like that film, so I'm gonna put that in D. But I totally forgot, let's go back to high school. Forgot about this film. Dimensions gets a big fat F. It's just not good. I don't know what to say. It's shot poorly, it's lit poorly, it makes no sense. It's kind of experimental. It's like this horror thing. I made it in high school with a friend. You live, you live and you learn. You know, your early stuff is never good. Um, let's go to some more college films. Uh, the Slender Man Chronicles was a salvage job because I wanted to do a Slender Man film. And I'm gonna put this at a C? I don't like the framed story that is around the story of Maskey. Maskey is, if you know the lore of Slender Man, is like, works for Slender Man. He wears like a mask and all that stuff. I, uh, I had my friend Brian and Charles come out and do, um, and do a little short scene. And that was the only short scene that was completed before I went to college. So I had to sort of film this background story of why this scene exists. And Slender Man Chronicles, Chronicle number one is not great because of that reason, I think. I think the forest stuff is okay. Nightlight. Nightlight is, in my opinion, uh, the worst short film I've ever done. And ironically, it gets more views than most of my films. It has like a thousand views, which is not like a lot, but it, it gets views and I don't know why because I hate this film. It was made as a uh, as part of a film contest that Film Riot was doing in the month of October for a horror contest. And this was just when me and my roommate moved into our new apartment in Florida. We had no resources, we didn't have like anything. I'm just like, let's film something 
and we did something in the apartment, either the worst or second worst film I think I've ever done, personally. Another college film, Why Does the Moon Shine? Why Does the Moon Shine, again, kind of influences a lot of my future work with like the Alan Watts duology, which we'll get to later on. The only thing that doesn't really hold up, honestly, is uh, the visual effects, which I did. But, you know, I think I think overall, like, I like the storyline and I like the fact that I actually worked with other people on this film. I worked with a friend, Ky my friend Kyle, who did the cinematography. I worked with Jordan, who did the sound. So I'm gonna give it a B. If I redid it now with my updated visual effects skills, I would probably put it at an A. Those are all of what I consider to be my crap films, <laughs> even though some of them are not. Uh, crap. I have a way of looking at my films. I have pre-fragments and post-fragments. Everything fragments and post-fragments I think is actually pretty good and I'm pretty proud of it. Fragments was a very personal story like story for me. Fragments was kind of a salvage job. I enjoyed fixing fragments because fragments became a what am I gonna do with this film to a this actually might work if I do the film this way kind of film. And I made a behind the scenes about it, two behind the scenes about Fragments, actually. So I'll put them right here or right here, wherever it is on the screen. And I'm going to put Fragment number one at an A. And then I'm going to put Fragment number two at an A. Fragment number three, which many consider to be the best fragment, I'm also going to put that at an A. And then Fragment number four, I'm going to put that at an A as well. I really like Fragments. It's not shot very well, and the production value isn't like great, but the story means a lot to me. Let's talk about the film that I am most proud of, vlog number one. Uh, I love this film a lot, and it's a really good satire on vlog culture, and it's also a pretty decent horror film. There's only a couple things about it that I don't like, but they're pretty minuscule. I'm gonna have to put uh, vlog number one at an A. Some of these icons are bigger than other ones, and I'm too lazy to shrink them, so they're just gonna stay right there as, as this size. Don't Hang Off, which is the pseudo sequel to vlog number one, I think is okay, but it's definitely rushed. I wrote it in a day. I didn't know how to light it. Um, if I had a cinematographer, I think Don't Hang Off would have been done so much better. I've seen a couple short films with very similar premises to Don't Hang Off that were done so much better than Don't Hang Off. So I'm gonna put Don't Hang Off at a C. I think I like the symbolism about it a lot, but overall, it's not the best film. As Vast As, probably another film that I'm pretty proud of. I really like how this film kind of elevated my visual effects game. Like if you look at Why Does the Moon Shine versus As Vast As, you can really see how far my visual effects game has gotten. I made this during quarantine with stock footage, but all of the shots of the planets and the space and all that, that's all me. I created those, I, I didn't create the assets, but I created those planets and I created, you know, I tracked them into the sky and all that. So I'm definitely gonna put as vast as at an A. Addendum is the final part of the Shadow Man trilogy. It is a more of a direct sequel to vlog number one and is definitely a lot more psychological and a lot more serious than vlog number one. So it's definitely not for everybody, but I kind of like the way it turned out. I like, I think in terms of cinematography, I think this is the best cinematography I've ever done, which isn't saying much because I'm not that good of a cinematographer. I really like this film, so I'm gonna put it at an A. Let's get into I Dreamt That I Kissed You Last Night series of films. Let me tell you what I Dreamt That I Kissed You Last Night really is. I Dreamt That I Kissed You Last Night is a series of films, anthology films, that were mostly shot with an iPhone. I got a moment iPhone lens. So I was just like making a lot of different tests with my phone and I wasn't gonna post most of them, but then I'm like, you know what? Why don't I just post these tests that I'm doing and then I'll put it under a series called I Dreamt That I Kissed You Last Night. Cause originally I Dreamt That I Kissed You Last Night was one film. And then I'm like, you know what? Let's make it 10 films and just let me just have like this theme, the same aesthetic that goes through all of them just be these random tests that I do to see how cinematic my phone can be. Which one is this? This one is Welcome To My Mind. I'm gonna give that a C. Again, it's just another test I did with the planets. And like, I also wanted to test out some stars and planets and the orb app from video co-pilot it's just it is what it is you know there's not much to say about it it's not that great murals is a film that i did because there's a lot of murals around me where i live and uh i thought it was really cool and i'm like i want to film these with my phone i'm gonna put murals at a b i don't know i think it's kind of cute 
I like I like murals and murals, which would make sense because it's it's called murals. I told the stars about you was inspired by LTG Art, who is an amazing artist. She does like usually figures that are floating in space. Her art, someone else's art, I can't remember, I'm gonna put it on screen right now, who inspired the mirror shot. And then even the title, I told the stars about you, is from something that I saw on Instagram. I saw that on Instagram, said I told the stars about you. So I recreated the frames, the faces and the title all cinematically, which I thought was pretty cool. So I'm gonna put that at an A. I'm actually surprised that I'm putting a lot of these in the A category because I actually didn't think I was gonna do that. I thought I was gonna be pretty hard on myself to be honest with you. I feel like I'm dying. Uh, yeah, that goes into the D column. What that film is, is me testing out my green screen. The, the green screening turned out decent. But the film itself is pretty dumb. It doesn't make any sense. Stupid. I don't do a lot of comedies, but I still laugh every time I look at Stupid. Uh, I had that idea for a while and I actually enjoyed it. It was fun making it with my friends. Again, a lot of it was to test out the capabilities of cinema on an iPhone. I'm gonna put Stupid at an A. Two minutes and 51 seconds of light wind and heavy breathing. I mean, it's all in the title, D. The only reason I'm not giving it an F is because it's not clickbait. It's the least clickbaity thing ever. I, I really don't even consider it to be like a short film, but it's on my short film channel, so I have to rank it and it's not great. Dante's Creamsicle. Actually a funny story, I joined this film group uh, with my friend Chris and he would assign us genres, he would assign us titles, he would do all that stuff and he had a list of titles and he's like, okay, pick one and make a short film out of it. So the one that caught my eye immediately was Dante's Creamsicle. I made it with stock assets and uh, I did some visual effects on it. The only thing that wasn't a stock asset in it is the actual Creamsicle and like the wings that are Creamsicle, like when the girl is like spreading her wings but they're Creamsicles. Dante's Creamsicle, I'm gonna give like a B. I like a lot of my films, they just don't make sense. I Dreamt That I Kissed You Last Night. I have a love-hate relationship with I Dreamt That I Kissed You Last Night. First off, I really like the title. I really like the narration. I really like some of the footage, like the stock elements and stuff like that. But the footage that I shot for it, I think is pretty bad. So I kind of want to put it at a C. Yeah, I'm gonna put it at a C for now. The Mad Hillbillies of Massapequa. I know I said I wasn't gonna be doing trailers and music videos and stuff like that, but and this is a trailer, but it's actually more of a short film because it's, it's like, it's just a, a fake trailer. This is actually part of a trilogy of fake trailers that I'm gonna be doing. And Mad Hillbillies of Massapequa, it's all right. It doesn't look old enough. It doesn't look authentic enough. I had a problem really making it look authentic. I definitely think it's funny. There was like this joke that, I think it was Friday the 13th part seven that was sponsored by Dr. Pepper or something like that. Horror films have these really strange sponsors. Like I was listening to the radio and like, I think it was like Subway was doing an ad for like, I can't remember, it was like Smile or some horror film that was coming out and I'm just like, th this is funny, like this is weird. I wanna do something kind of funny. So I made it to where it's an Allstate sponsored horror film called The Mad Hillbillies and Massapequa. But around here, it's y'all state, baby. Around here, it's y'all state, baby! On the burns the and mad the hillbillies and the of Massapequa. I'm gonna put it at a C because it's meant to be bad, but it could have been worse. And the worse it got, it would have been better. Does that make sense? All right, my latest short film, Firmament, which is the second part of my Alan Watts duology. First one being As Vast As. I had uh, my friends Michelle and Kayla help me out with it. Again, it kind of shows how far I've come with the visual effects. There are some stock elements in there, but I really like the storyline. I really like the cinematography from the stuff that I shot and didn't shoot. To me, it blended together very well as opposed to I Dreamt That I Kissed You Last Night, which I don't think blended at all. I think this film blends the stock elements and the stuff I shot really well. Um, so I'm gonna put Firmament at an A. I kind of feel like a douchebag putting this many short films at an A. 
I did not think I was going to be doing that. It's, uh, it's an interesting mixture of uh, good and bad. If you want to watch any of these short films, be sure to check out my short film channel, youtube.com slash Nico's Films. It will also be in the description below. And I think in the next year, because 2023 is coming up, I'm actually filming this on Thanksgiving, which is probably why I look like a giant in the camera right now, because I just ate and I'm really fat. I'm going to probably focus more on my short film channel in the upcoming year, more so than Nico Nico 9. I'm still going to do stuff on Nico Nico 9. Yeah, so this is uh, my tier list. And I know what you're thinking. Do you really think that nothing you've made has been S tier? And the answer is, I do think something I've made is S tier. But there's only one thing that beats them all. My masterpiece. Yeah, they call me double X, cause I'm always in the bag. Yeah, they call me Mr. Krabs, cause I'm counting mad stacks. I don't need no rubber bands when I'm counting my stacks. I just keep them in my pockets and they call me square pants. SpongeBob, baby, SpongeBob, call me SpongeBob, SpongeBob, baby, SpongeBob, call me SpongeBob, square pants, baby.